Hi everybody. So today we're going to bake um, honey lemon square. So we're going to start by making the crust. We're going to make the crust in the mixer. The ingredients are all ready and I want to put in a plug for ingredients and say again that it's very important to always use the absolutely best ingredients for the best um, result of what you're baking. So when I use flour, I use King Arthur flour. So this is a cup of King Arthur flour. I also weighed it because it's usually better to weigh your ingredients. So it's five ounces of King Arthur flour. Then when I use butter, I use really good butter. This is Plu Gras European unsalted butter. And we have uh, six tablespoons, which is three ounces of that. We have Himalayan sea salt, really good honey, and water. And that's what's going in to the crust. There's the flour into the mixer, and here's the salt. Oops. <laughs> and now we're gonna add the butter one piece at a time. So here we go, there's a lot of butter in here. One, two, etc. to mix it until only pea-sized um, lumps of butter remain. So you can look in here and see that it's not pea-sized lumps yet. So now at this point, what we want to do is add the honey and the water. I have clean hands. I washed them just a few minutes ago because I'm going to use my finger as the rubber spatula for the honey. You know, honey doesn't always come out of the teaspoon all the way. So I'm adding the honey. It's a teaspoon of honey. And I'm going to put the teaspoon down in the water that I'm about to add so that it might be able to soak off whatever honey I missed. Then we're going to add the water. Mix it until it starts clumping. You know, push this down, make sure all the dough is in here. It's about at the clumped stage where it'll stick together. That's what you want. You don't want to overmix pie crust ever, ever, ever. And we're going to stop it. Okay. So now we're going to take this batter, this pie crust, and put it in the bottom of a pan that I already have prepared. And luckily our oven just got to 350 right as the, or the cookie crust is ready. Put the the dough into a prepared pan. I don't know why they do this in recipes these days. They always say line the pan with aluminum foil or parchment paper. I don't know if it's because people don't wash dishes or what, but I always follow the instructions when I make a recipe until I've made it enough times that I feel really comfortable with it. Um, so I'm, I went ahead and lined the pan, like they said, save us all from washing dishes. I really don't get it. Um, it also does make it easier to get the lemon bars out of the, the pan and cut them in a prettier way. Okay, so you can see that the crust is now, is now in the pan, and we're going to spread it kind of evenly. And I'm not pushing while I'm spreading it because I want to distribute it um, fairly evenly. It's easier to move it around while it still crumbles and not stuck together. So now it's pretty well done like that, and I'm going to take my hand and push it down. And you can see how now it's clumping together and fitting together. And then this is going to bake. And it's going to bake now. And then we're going to add lemon curd to the top of it and it's going to bake some more. And this is a Cook's Illustrated recipe. And what they say to do in the Cook's Illustrated recipe is to use the bottom of a measuring cup to flatten the bar. Now personally, you know, this is not the British baking show, this is my kitchen, and I don't think anybody, once the lemon curd is on the top, is going to know whether their finger indentations in the top of the lemon bars crust or not, but I'm going to do this because it's what they said to do, but goodness gracious, it seems a little finicky to me. Okay, so this is ready to go into the oven, where it will sit for 20 to 25 minutes. So now it's time to make the lemon curd that goes on top of the bars, of the pie crust bar that we just made. And uh, this recipe calls for two eggs, two whole eggs, and seven egg yolks. Now I need the grated zest, a fourth a cup of grated lemon zest. And to do that, I'm gonna use a microplane and grate the zest on the microplane. microplane plane. And um, the recipe says that's about four lemons. So we have all of our ingredients right here, egg yolks and two whole eggs, lemon juice, lemon zest, honey, and salt. And we're going to put all these into this medium saucepan and whisk them together. Now 
Now she says to whisk these together. Once you've whisked this all together, what the recipe wants you to do is to cook it over medium-low heat and stir it not with the whisk, which puts air bubbles into it, but to stir it with a silicone spatula so that it doesn't um, uh, have air bubbles in it. Now what I'm noticing is that the whites are still not whisked up enough, so this is pretty much good enough. Cook it over medium-low heat. So we'll light the burner and put it on six on four, which I believe would be about medium low. And we're going to stir it with this rubber spatula. The recipe says it should thicken in five minutes, so we'll see. So I am stirring the pot. And we'll stir the pot for five minutes. You know, the, a recipe can't tell you exactly how many minutes because they don't know, uh, whoever writes the recipe, how warm or cold your ingredients are. They don't know how your stove might register medium low or what you might determine, as I do on a gas stove, what's medium low. Um, so well, this is going over what the recipe says. The recipe said that this would happen in five to seven minutes, and it didn't, which may have to do with the temperature of the eggs or it may have to do with the uh, temperature that I put the gas burner on. I can feel it starting to thicken now. So we're going to check it again right this second. It's 166, so we're going to take it off the heat. Oops. Take it off the heat and turn off the burn to, to stir in the butter. So here's a piece of butter. I'll put it in one piece. We have four pieces of butter. Two pieces. Three pieces. Four pieces. We're going to stir the butter till it melts. We're stirring in the butter till it melts. When I took it off the stove, instead of 165, it was at 166. So instead of five to seven minutes, what we did was about nine minutes. So now I need to strain it. It rids the, the lemon curd that we're making of the lemon zest, which might taste funny on your tongue. And also, if any pieces of egg got cooked as opposed to incorporated into the dish, those icky pieces of egg that you might run into will be left in the strainer as well. And we have three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream right here. And we're going to stir that into this. There's a cream, whipping cream, into this final mix. Sort of a little lump of it. I want to make sure it all gets stirred in. And you see how pretty it looks. Isn't that pretty? We're going to pour this onto our cookie bar that we've already made. Here we go. Pour this over the cookie bar. Okay, so now our honey lemon bars are ready to go into the oven for its final baking, which is for about 10 to 12 minutes. So, we'll put it back in the oven. Here we go. I got to lift the bowl. Mmm, that's good. Now we're ready to take them out of the oven. Can we open the oven? They should be slightly jiggly, which they are. And we lift them up and we set them on a cooling rack. They are finished. They're going to sit in the cooling rack for two solid hours to cool. It's noon and so they'll be done at 2 o'clock just in time to take them to my friend to try out this afternoon.